What's going on, everybody? So, it is Monday. We're in the gym doing some squats, some bench, and my favorite, the deadlift. And it is my first day back after a eh, reasonably heavy deload. Uh, nothing horrific or anything like that, but had a nice PR day last, last week, and uh, that felt pretty good. But now it's time to get back to the grind and start uh, banging out those squats and bench and all that good stuff not exactly exciting but hey it's got to be done so working on some heavy singles here worked up to about 300 pounds uh this actually felt really good i had a little bit of tightness in my right hip kind of just a lingering ache or pain as you would say uh nothing that i was truly concerned about it kind of messed with my descent a little bit um but nothing like I powered through it and did my thing. And then by the time I hit my rep work, it felt perfectly fine. Uh, other than that, really squats are feeling really good. Starting to get uh, really accustomed to the high bar squats. Um, really, really tight in my back and, uh, you know, my shoulders and everything. And just really starting to, to feel the groove and practicing trying to descend faster with heavier weights so that's smoother and I can hit that stretch reflex at the bottom. Uh, it's going to take some time really, really hard to put weight on your back and just drop into it. It's kind of a mental thing, I swear, but I'll get it. It's, you know, mind over matter. And if you don't mind, it don't matter. <laughs> so, uh, this is one set of the rep work I did and this is 250 pounds and it, it, you can see I was favoring my uh, right side there just a little bit at the first and then started feeling a little better and basically started just dropping in. I actually, uh, my second and third set look a lot better. I probably should put that in there, but I'm not going to because otherwise this video will be forever long. And uh, I actually ended up dropping in a lot faster and hitting a lot deeper depth than what I am here. So it ended up being a lot better towards the end than it was in the beginning. And that's kind of funny too, because usually the end of the sets are where it really sucks. But, uh, for some reason I always end up being a lot better towards the end of it. <clears throat> I think it's because I get my, my groove in and, uh, I basically just tell myself, Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> so moving on to bench press, obviously the three heavy singles did a one for 260 and then backed off to 195 for uh, three sets of eight. This felt really good. Um, my shoulder has not been giving me any flack at all. In fact, it, it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel normal. Uh, it still aches a little bit here and there, but it is what it is. I'm not concerned about it. It's nothing that's bothering me while I'm pressing. It's also not really bothering me throughout my life. So, you know, as long as I can move my arm and I'm not dying... I'm not really concerned about it. But other than that, the weights went really well. Everything was very smooth. I was very happy with how everything felt. Uh, the general movement in, was nice. The speed descent was good. Um, the last set here on 260, I would have liked to have paused on my chest just a touch longer. Um, not really sure. Don't really have a reason for it. But for my own personal benefit, I think I would have liked to. It's not that I needed to. It's just my own personal preference. Uh, moving on to the rep work right after this, I will say that it wasn't bad. It wasn't great either. <laughs> it, it definitely got hard towards the last couple reps. Uh, nothing impossible. I probably could have added another 5, maybe 10 pounds and banged it out. But I would say probably on the third set I would have been struggling. This, I struggled a little, but that's to be expected. You're supposed to struggle. If this was easy, then everybody would do it, and I wouldn't make any gains. So, you know, it was the proper amount of weight. But other than that, there's not really much to say about bench. Um, it was very, very well done. I was happy with it quite a bit. Uh, 
Moving on to my stiff legged deadlifts here, we ended up doing a 350 for a single at the top set and then 335 for uh, three sets of eight. And I'm going to tell you right now, this I did with raw grip for my heavy singles, um, mostly just to keep my grip strong and everything. I did not do my rep work with uh, my grip, mostly because I don't need to and it just ends up tearing the hell out of my hands and uh it's not something i it's just not something i need to do it's i can save my hands for another day i like being able to close my hands and grip things after i do my deadlifts so i ended up using straps uh this is actually my last set of uh stiff legged deadlifts i put my last set in because i'm like 90 percent sure on the last pull you can you can tell that i'm i'm dying um I'm not really dying. It it was heavy though. It was it definitely got to the point where I was feeling it. Uh, also, still enjoying the Texas deadlift bar. That thing is amazing. I love that bar. But that's pretty much it for the stiff legged deadlifts. Just watch the last rep here. You can see where I finish, and I'm about I just don't move for a second. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, until next time. The pitchfork from the devil Keep a super suit like I'm